Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to your snowy steamboat today morning show. We have Susie Hawkins in here to make it all better for us. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as always. Thank you. You said a little slippery this morning on the roads? Very slippery okay. on the roads this morning. So everybody, please be careful. All right. See our, our uh, correspondent on the streets getting the road conditions for us. Yes. <laughs> so we have a little history lesson yes, this morning, don't we? History and locals. Okay. And when I first came to Steamboat Springs, I bought the Iron Horse Inn and I happened upon that the Iron Horse Inn is situated where it used to be a flour mill. Oh, wow. Who That's knew? It's very interesting, isn't yes. it? Yes. The Gooding family bought the flour mill in 1948. So I kept thinking and visualizing that's right after World War II. And it must have been a hard burden for them to be able to come up with the money to buy the flour mill. And that we had this natural creek that ran along the side and I had filled it with river rocks because I couldn't quite figure out what to do with yeah. it when I was there. And that's where the big mill went round and round huh. that crushed the wheat into flour. Wow. Then in 1958, it burned to the ground. Oh, no. Burned. Yes. Flour is very combustible, and I never knew that before I realized that our own little flour mill had burned down. Huh. Wow. And these pictures that we're looking at, they're amazing. They you are. know, these old pictures that we have of Steamboat like that, you start to, you know, try to figure it out, well, where is this? Where am I? What am I looking at? These are amazing pictures. Yes. Love Isn't it. Isn't that nice? How did you come across this uh, little piece of our history? I came across it in that Lynn Abbott came to visit one day. Her brother was getting married and wanted to trade the use of these pictures for some room nights. Oh, wow. Okay. Her parents were the Goodings that owned the flour mill. Wow. Isn't that fun? Just yeah. small town stuff that would never happen exactly. in a big city, would exactly. it? Exactly. Well, that's part of the charm of Steamboat Springs. I mean, we talk about this all the time. There's a million ski resorts, but Steamboat sets itself apart by being a community, and we have that, that heritage, which definitely makes it different from other communities. Not that other communities aren't nice and lovely and good places to settle down, but Steamboat is definitely a jewel. Oh, yes, it is. And then I wanted to talk about one of my favorite locals this morning is Don Lufkin. Okay. His grandmother homesteaded in the valley here as a single divorced woman with two sons. Wow. And she had the little house that's east of town, that little yellow farmhouse that's right by the little Red Mesa schoolhouse. Yes. And so Don's granddaughter used to work for me and we became great friends. Don was like one of the first realtors in town along with Frank. Stetson. Okay. They were like the only two realtors we had. So Don was always a great wealth of information for me. I used to take in the fall Don and another good friend of mine, Robin Olds, for a drive and we would drive either Gore Pass or go down to Burns and Don was great fun because he had a story about every ranch and some of the stories were kind of seedy. You think. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Don, no yes. idea. <laughs> yes. But it was so interesting to learn that 131 was built for carriages as opposed to cars, and that's why it was difficult for the Department of Transportation to be able to widen it and create it so that it's as nice as it is today. Hmm. The history, I think, just helps us to be able to go forward and appreciate what we've accomplished from the past. Absolutely, and we were talking about real estate. It's these stories behind, you know, the bricks and mortar. That's it's it just makes the property something special, something different. Yes. And you have all these stories to tell. You have been passed down from Don Lufkin and the rest, and you know a lot about this valley. Yes, as well as there are contractors in town like Bob Childers that grew up here in town. What a wonderful thing for me if I need to refer a client to a contractor, a contractor that knows that our weather patterns are quite different from anybody else's and maybe this or that is necessary to fix a roof or a leak. It works wonderfully. Absolutely. Well, good good things all around. So yes. uh, what is the best way for people to get in touch with you? Because uh, they're going to want to learn all these stories about all these properties, CZ. <laughs> They can call 879-6702, or they can reach me on my website, suzyhawkins.com. Okay. Well, no play, no better place than uh, Steamboat Springs, right? Yes. All righty. So we're falling in love, and you do it every day. You have yes. help people fall in love. Susie Hawkins, thank you so much for being here today. We'll see you again very soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Make sure you visit her website, Susie Hawkins Real Estate, and we'll be right back with more Steamboat today.